Oh, I had a fun weekend hanging out with Gigi and Darcy, but like everyone else around here, it's time to get back to work. And as at Collins and Collins, I needed to take some time to talk with the CEO. But this time, I recorded it. Why? <laughs> because otherwise there wouldn't be a video today. So bear with me, loyal viewers, because my name is Izzy Bennett, and this is the boring stuff. Come in. Excuse me, Lizzie. Um, Gigi told me you wanted me. She did? Yes, for an interview? For your independent study? Yes. Yes, um, that is, if you have the time and don't mind appearing on my videos again some more. No, I don't mind. And, uh, yes, I have the time. Or I'll make it. Uh, great. Um, let me just, uh, get the door. So... So... Why don't you tell us about Pemberley Digital? What would your viewers like to know? Anything that isn't on the website? Let's start with the name. What does Pemberley mean? Oh, uh, Pemberley is the name of the place that my father's family comes from in England. I'm sorry, that's boring. No, I, I like it. It gives a sense of history to a new endeavor, especially one with such a young CEO. I just consider myself lucky. I discovered something early that I love to do and do well, and I built my company around that. Well, you must know what I mean, what, with your videos? <laughs> my videos? You discovered something that you love to do and do well. They're just little videos, me telling stories about my mundane life. But it resonates with people. You're a natural storyteller. All right, I'll show you that what you do is special. Walk me through how you make a video. Aren't I supposed to be interviewing you? Fine. Um, usually I start with a timely topic, something that happened recently in my life, like um, I went out to karaoke with your sister last night. Then there might be a reenactment to help explain things, you know, costume theater. Now that is an example of something unique and different and creative about how you make your videos. Even when it leads indirectly to me calling you a newsie? Even then. So how would you costume theater your karaoke excursion with Gigi? Uh, well, I'm not gonna sing, that's for sure. Um, and since you're here, you would have to be my assistant. I... I don't think that's necessary. Oh, no. You started this! You're not gonna chicken out now. Come on, it's not like it's your first time. So, what should we sing? Well, well, I always go for the classic musicals. So, Rodgers and Hammerstein? That's not classic, that's... <clears throat> old. Uh, I'm sorry, I... Can't do this. No, why? It's just too strange. Pretending to be my sister. I don't want her to think that I'm mocking her, or I apologize, that's a harsh word. No, I understand. I know I have used costume theater to paint a picture of people that only shows my limited perspective, and that can seem mocking. Uh, like with my mother. Your mother? Yes. Uh, my mother is obsessed with marrying off her daughters, but uh, anyone who watches the videos can see that she cares about us and in her own way wants what's best. So I'm trying to be better about portraying people from more than just my perspective. I'm trying the same thing, uh, to see from other points of view. Although I'm not sure I can do it from my sisters, it feels very strange. Okay, well, um, I, I had a phone call with my dad. We could reenact that. No, that, that would be weird. Um, uh, I video conference with Charlotte. No, um, I had lunch with Fitz. Fitz. I could be Fitz. Well, after all, Fitz got to be me. I believe this is what they call payback. Oh, there's just one problem. I don't have a costume for Fitz. Oh, it's not a problem. It's not. The production facility on the third floor has a wardrobe department. So, Lizzie B, 
tell me all about how you're getting on at the Pemberley.